This is News Round. Welcome to the programme, our top stories this afternoon. I'm in Hemel Hempstead with all the very latest on the massive fire here that's still burning. Plus, the sports personality of the year goes from hero to zero. Hi there, first to the biggest fire in Europe for decades. Firefighters are still at the blaze that was caused by explosions at a Hertfordshire oil depot yesterday morning. It happened at the Buntsfield depot in Hemel Hempstead in South East England at six o'clock on Sunday morning. And Laura's been at the scene all day. Well, Ellie, as you can probably see behind me, the flames are still burning. The sky here above Hemel Hempstead is still full with thick black smoke. This is the biggest fire in Europe for about 60 years and it's no wonder that it's proving so difficult to put out. The morning after and the fires are still raging. It's now nearly 36 hours since the blaze started and firefighters have spent all day and night tackling it. It all began yesterday at six o'clock in the morning. Local people say they were woken by three loud explosions which were heard up to 100 miles away. It's thought that up to 20 tanks of fuel caught fire, each of them containing up to a million litres of diesel, petrol or oil. The explosion sent balls of fire and thick black smoke high into the sky, shattering windows and blowing doors off nearby houses. Brothers Tom and Jamie, who lived near the depot, had never heard anything like it in their lives. There was this huge explosion and this great big orange light came over the whole house and it seemed like a load of flames. And I at first thought it was an aeroplane because it was so loud and the smoke just flew like anything. I've got asthma. I'm worried about everyone with asthma because it damages your lungs if you breathe in the smoke. And... Um, I'm worried about the environment because all pollution is getting into the air. 43 people were hurt in the explosions and 2,000 people had to leave their homes. Thousands of children have been directly affected too. Across the area, 70 schools were shut today and those will be closed again tomorrow. This is the scene that the firefighters are facing.